so I am here in Milan. As you can probably tell, I put out a uh, poll on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Uh, Latvia was winning for a while, but uh, Italy came through, so we've gone with Milan. So I'm just having um, myself espresso and uh, a pastry, and uh, this was actually recommended to me. So um, why not? Okay, so I'm just getting settled in here at the hostel. Great place. So I'm at the uh, city centre uh, best hostel in Milano. Um, absolutely brilliant since I got here, given a load of information. Best place to get somewhere, something to eat. Uh, best place to get a coffee, uh, free things to go and see. So <clears throat> I definitely recommend it. It's not expensive here either. And you know, it's quite nice. It's not like it's all bunk beds, which a lot of them are. You've got nice uh, places here. We've got storage boxes so that we can keep things safe as well. Um, the police station is actually downstairs, so you're in a really safe area here. Um, so this should be really good. So if you're looking for it on a budget, this is definitely, definitely the place to be coming for it as well. Um, and then we're going to have a little wander out in a minute uh, after we've settled in here for a little bit and uh, see... Uh, somewhere to eat and um, a few of the gardens and things like that and then when I come back later hopefully I'll bump into some of my uh, roommates for the next few days. So I'm currently on the Corso Buenos Aires in Milan here. Um, this is the longest continuous shopping street in Europe. It is around a mile long. It has hundreds of shops. It actually goes so far that it connects Milan to a nearby town of Monza. So it is absolutely massive. There are hundreds of shops here, outlets, everything from really high-end restaurants to street food to clothing to normal houses. It's absolutely everything here. And um, yeah, I'm just going to be going in and out of shops, seeing what's here, and I don't think I've got enough time in Milan to get to everything, but I'm definitely going to try. So, um, just done off my day. It, I am in quite a busy area because I am just off of the main street here. Um, but this is what we have. This is not a small slice, but in mind. If you put that next to my hand, that is not a small slice. It's not a bad price either. Um, the coffee is only 110, basically everything. You go for espresso um, when you're here, especially past kind of 12 o'clock. So yeah, got to enjoy this. They've been really helpful at the uh, hostel that I'm staying at and everyone else has been really helpful. Uh, people trying to help translate because I'm really not good with Italian. Um, yeah, Milan is definitely winning over a few other cities I've been to in uh, Italy so far, I have to say. So after having a quick look around uh, Milan, the shops and everything, I've got a while here, so I'm just a quick tour here back at the hostel. Let's find out somewhere to eat later on, and I've just bumped into one of the other guests called Raphael, so we're going to head out and see what we can find. Just at um, Piccola Ischia, I just had uh, Marguerite's Pizza, absolutely brilliant here. Uh, really good dough, just amazing flavour, and a really nice beer which I completely forgot the name of. Um, La Ambretta or something. Um, I'm with Raphael. <laughs> By the name, Raphael is actually German, so <laughs> not Italian. Uh, but we're, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just chilling out. It's relatively busy in here as well, it's not too bad. Um, so we're probably going to have uh, a drink and then go back. Um, but I would definitely recommend this. There are like three of them, so the one that we have come to has this as its menu. So whichever one that is the menu to, that is the right one. Um, absolutely brilliant pizza. Would definitely recommend it. Really helpful and uh, friendly stuff as well. Okay, so just out about with uh, Raphael again. We are just off to the cathedral. It is a lot busier today out and about. We're seeing some random things like um, entire woods on top of buildings and weird mushroom statues, but that's fun. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to see here in Milan. It is not just all fashion and random things like that. There's a lot more to see and it's very busy, but uh, definitely grab a coffee on the way because it's also cheap. 
Okay, so just by the cathedral up there, but also look at this behind me. This is just beautiful. Just this bit alone is beautiful and it is so bustling. There's so many people here of many Italian places. This has got to be up there. I am just in a bar in <laughs> Milan. I don't know where I am really. Um, enjoying some craft beer and uh, it's really nice. If you check this place out, it's quite small. There's, um, there's some seating outside as well, um, but really nice craft beer in here, really rustic in here, but really helpful staff. They'll tell you kind of the nice ones to go for. All the beer is the same price, so that they're not, like, they're not messing with you. They'll genuinely give you the right advice. It's all the same price, which is actually really helpful. You don't have to keep tabs. It's just like, okay, this is this price. That's it for the night. Um, really helpful. This is like um, just off of the um, uh, Buenos Aires uh, main main drag. So we're like five minutes from Buenos Aires main drag. Um, a lot of people are outside drinking. I just wanted to be inside. Um, I'm with um, uh, Rafael again. Uh, who I met, who I met in the hostel. But uh, yeah, really, really good idea to check out these little bars. There's not as many of them as you'd think. There's a lot of restaurants that are also bars, but this is one of the very, very few simple bars, just drink and and crisps, uh, that actually seems to exist in Milan. At least this area of Milan. Uh, really good, really great gr uh, craft beers that are also very local. So definitely check something like this out if you have the chance. Um, if you're not into like the, the big clubbing scene or anything like that, do check this out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Hi, hello, we are from Magot, Milan. We are from Umbish if you want to visit us. There you go. There is the sign. That is the sign, guys. Um, I believe best you're... Best bar in Milano. The best bar in Milano. There you go. It is the best bar in Milano. So I just want to say a big shout out to the guys at Magoo. I didn't say it enough there, but they were absolutely brilliant in helping us uh, choose the right beers, letting us know which ones were more local. Um, and because as much as you might know about any beer or anything before you go out, you don't know about their beer and you don't know about the types and anything like that. So it's a great craft beer place. It wasn't too hipstery as you kind of expect from some places. It was just right, great tone. As you see in the video, everyone else there likes it as well. Small little place uh, just around the corner from where I was staying as well. So absolutely worth it. Exactly what me and Raphael needed on the night out. So I have just checked out of the hostel uh, myself and Raphael have just come uh, back to the bakery cafe that we've been at for a while. And then I have a wonder, I'm going to fly until uh, late this afternoon. So hopefully this will be a nice last day. It's nice and sunny, it's not too hot, so definitely worth it. But uh, this is my breakfast this morning. So yeah, can't really go wrong with that one. And uh, yeah, it is a nice sunny day. So uh, let's enjoy. <laughs> and foremost thing continually is food. It is one of the most, if not the most important thing in Italy after the Catholic Church. Um, food defines so much, it's integrated into the culture and so when they want to eat, they eat fresh and they eat well. So as you'll notice I have had quite a lot of coffee since I have been here and I am back again having another coffee. Um, also 
because they have got a lot of rules. Um, it's not set in stone, of course. Um, you do have certain things that you've got a lot of people doing. One of them is having water. As a normal thing, a lot of places actually give it to you as normal with your coffee to sip along with it because it enhances the flavour of the coffee. You can taste it a lot better. Uh, another thing that I've actually noticed is it's cheaper to stand at the bar and it's completely normal to pop in somewhere, stand at the bar, even on a, a street corner where there's maybe a hole in the wall, you grab a coffee there, just drink it, move on. Um, standing is completely normal. So a lot of people do it's actually cheaper as well. Um, so you'll find so many people do that. On the way to get a paper, grab a coffee and move on. Very much um, a normal thing. Also, the kind of coffee you have. In the morning, you'll notice I have a pastry. I've had a pastry and uh, a latte. That's a cafe latte. Um, I've had most morning, just very normal uh, breakfast for Italians. But after midday, cut the milk out. It's considered the milk is just too heavy as you go into the afternoon. And for a lot of people, it's what you give the children is the milky ones. So I tend to switch onto an Americano or an espresso. And the other thing you'll notice is there are no sizes. This is not Starbucks, you simply ask for the type of coffee. That's it, it's pretty much the same size and uh, there's no choosing of that. This is not um, a fast food approach. It's coffee is so ingrained into a ca uh, Italian culture. You can't avoid it and you still enjoy it. Something that should also be mentioned as well is the fact that you get a receipt. So every time you order a new coffee or a focaccia as I've got here, you just get another receipt, another ticket that tells you what you've had. You take it to the counter at the end and it's add up. It's that simple. Okay, so I am just at the central uh, train station in uh, uh, Milan and that is the train station, which I don't know, it's probably one of the nicest looking train stations I've certainly come across. As, as that in the background, it looks like some kind of opera hall or something, um, absolutely beautiful. I've got a few hours until my flight, so I'm just having a wander around a bit of Milan that I didn't see when I first got in, because I came in by bus, went a completely different way. So there's so many uh, different side streets and bits you can go into in Milan and see so many different things, but certainly with that in the background, it is a very beautiful city.